Look at that guys, Cleave King here, back out at my mate's place today. I've got the braking lube, something I forgot to bring last time that's very important when you're starting an engine for the first time. Just can't say how important this is guys. Definitely get it if you're ever starting something. The other thing we've just done quickly is unbolted the rocker covers and checked that all of the rocker arms have oil. A lot of guys will uh, prime an engine at the front here and once they get oil pressure to a gauge they'll turn an engine on assuming that everything's oiled but Cleveland's have a bit of a weird oiling system you actually need to check that you've got oil coming up each push rod through each rocker fulcrum and dripping over each valve stem and roll the tip. Uh, you generally will check and you will have oil coming out on the driver's side first because of the way the system works and then it'll pressurise up and cross over to the passenger side. But we've checked that now, we're ready to move on to the next thing. Hopefully we'll make some noise with this be soon guys. It's about time, can't wait to get this thing running. What we're doing now is just winding it over and making sure that each push rod's got oil coming up through the fulcrum, all the way rolling over the roller tip and onto the valve stem. You want everything oiled before you start an engine for the first time, otherwise you'll end up with noisy roller rockers and an unhappy engine. Alright guys, we're back out here at the XE ESP today. What we've done so far is I've poured in a bottle of braking lube. This stuff's comp cams, it's just what I got from PW when I was in there from the boys. Always pays to add a braking protection lubricant when you're starting a flat tappet cam, whether solid or hydraulic for the first time. We undid the rocker covers before, ran the motor over and we primed it. We've got enough oil, there's oil at every rocker and every push rod and every valve stem tip. Last time I also had the carby off and I checked the base calibration of the carby in relation to transfer slots and that was alright and we checked over the initial timing. And what we're going to do when we break it on after we give it about 15-20 minutes of camshaft braking, I'll hook a timing light up and we'll check where the total timing's at. It's an absolutely beautiful car here you guys, can't wait to make some noise, get this thing singing. Alrighty, we've got everything in order now guys, we're about to give it the first kick, hopefully this is the business. Alrighty, yep. <laughs> When you're turning an engine on for the first time, you don't want to let it idle. You've got to get the revs up a little bit between two and two and a half thousand. So we can just wear the cam in with a nice even pattern. 2500 45? 20. Beautiful. Now that's just paint burning off the engine. Always happens when you're starting something for the first time. Sounds beautiful, guys.
minutes. Music to my ears, guys. I absolutely love being involved in something like this. Not every day you get to be at a $15,000 engine sighting for the first time. set a nice idle on this thing we've got it on locked in at the moment on 11 degrees initial timing didn't really like 14 when we tried it so we came back to 11 we've got the idle at the moment sitting on about a thousand revs in park so engine sounding real happy at the moment beautiful listen to a ruffling over absolutely beautiful <laughs> Hey, give, give it a little rev. Oh, oh man. He's hardly touching a fuck all too. So. Oh, what? Here we go, guys. This
this is the idle we've said it's ticking away right now at a thousand rpm in park beautiful gotta love it that's why I pay you to do a couple of checks before you start an engine guys this was so streamlined beautiful it came on not an issue this engine's gonna be happy it's gonna last for ages absolutely no damage Just got to show off these seats just a little bit. Beautiful. We've got the gauge cluster over here. Oil pressure's on about 80 pounds, which is perfect. Sitting on 80 degrees. Quarter tank of fuel. Beautiful. successfully broken in camshaft. Guys, we here. We had a pretty good day today. We got the XE ESP started running. We've successfully broken in the camshaft and we've got a nice bass tune in it. I'm pretty happy with it how it is for now and uh, until I come back next week and we sort out a few other things like fuel lines and that and fuel supply issues, I'll uh, leave it where it is. Thanks for watching the video guys, I hope everyone learnt a bit from this and please leave any comments or any feedback that you guys have or anything you just want to hear or any ideas for some videos for me to make in the future guys, I'd love some suggestions. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe. Cheers guys.